Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another empties video like you can tell from the title. And I have my big empties bin back. Basically, um, and this time you guys, it is full. It is full to the brim. I'm surprised how I went through so many products in the course of just two months because this feels like a lot more than that. Um, it is, it's quite full. Let me give you a small glimpse if I possibly can. Okay. Can you see like... The products are right up till the brim so we have a lot of stuff to get through and talk about today and yes like i said it's the empties from july and august i believe and i have recently been just loving empties content like i'm not just um filming this for you but i'm also consuming a lot of empties videos i feel like a lot of my favorite youtubers have posted empties videos in the past month or so so very 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 into it right now and i was so excited to film this video i just feel like i have to preface that because you will see it in my excitement as i share these products with you and get into this video so without any further ado let's jump into it and let's get started also every time i do this i give you like a tally as well um so like my monthly tally and then um how many products we've emptied up like in this specific round and stuff so um yes we will do that also um towards the end of this video first i want to show you my two shampoo empties i think that is the only hair care uh, which i have in here is shampoos so i have one big bottle of the tresemme keratin smooth shampoo this is like the one liter the biggest size they have and i went through this actually i want to say a while back um so this has been sitting around over here for a while and then i also went through this one now i feel like i used up the bond strength um shampoo in the tresemme bottle and i think there is some water inside here for some reason i think my mom put some water in here to get every last bit of product out but yes it's basically done and then i had decanted a different shampoo in here but the bond strength variant specifically which i actually used was I want to say like okay it was not as good as the Hethol Defense one or the Keratin Smooth one those are the two variants which I actually really 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 like so it was not as good so I don't think I'm going to repurchase this specific variant but I like I buy the size based on um like my need usually I only buy this bigger size but recently I did buy a couple of smaller sizes too um I think from like Zepto and stuff so um yes you will probably see that in like upcoming empties but yes this is something I go through I want to say once in three to four months but i feel like recently i've been going through it more for some reason and i feel like since i've colored my hair i'm for some reason washing my hair less also because now that i have these like flicks and layers and stuff my hair doesn't get as oily as quickly so i don't wash my hair every three days so let's see how my shampoo and hair washing cycle continues but yes this is an empty that you will very regularly see either this variant or the hair fall defense variant that's my go-to shampoos um then moving on next we have a lot of body lotions too i know i'm going in a weird order i wanted to like start with face care but suddenly we have gotten into um a lot of body lotions and for some reason i have a lot of body lotions you guys um i don't know how that ended up happening so i have two of the same types um what which variant is this yes renewing collagen and elastin variant um this i had um I have one more of currently in my collection which I'm not using because I'm using other body lotions too and because this is the 400 ml size I feel like I go through this quicker if I had the 621 ml size that one takes longer to use up but that is not uh, listed even on Nykaa these days I don't know why so I feel like that is why I am um you know like this is the other size that i can possibly buy i will not buy the 200 ml size because that i'm going to go through so 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 quickly so um this i have one more bottle of and then these two i went through pretty quickly so um yes this is usually a repurchase but i don't i'm not sure if i will repurchase it this time around because i've also been discovering a lot of other body lotions which i'm going to speak about next so yes um this one is going to probably go on hold for a while i do have one more left in my collection but i'm not a hundred percent um positive if i'll repurchase this or not and i'm also um a little confused i want to say i'm not sure about this don't quote me on it but i feel like same times is like getting discontinued in india like i'm not sure because 
I'm not able to buy these anywhere online um, in the bigger size and I am not sure why that is the case um, also my head is a little bit over the place and this dress keeps like falling out like this side for some reason it keeps falling off so um, <laughs> yeah um, if I keep adjusting that that's why so um the saint eyes body lotions uh, since i decided to give those a break i've been trying out some newer body lotions um so i have two of the himalaya clear complexion brightening body lotions this has become a recent favorite and the reason i have two is because i got one i'm not sure which one it was um that came in the mail from nika and half of it was like leaked all over so i took a video of it and i sent it to them and i said i mean what the hell is this so they sent me a replacement and that's why i had the second one so i used up whatever was left in the one that was half gone because they didn't take it back or anything and i was like what's the point of just throwing it away might as well let me use it up like whatever is left in there so i used it up and then i had an empty and then i got the other one emptied that one up as well and i actually love this body lotion a lot it's very lightweight moisturizing yet not sticky or oily or greasy so it's like the perfect medium weight lotion and that's what i really need for myself is the perfect medium weight lotion so this one is definitely going to be a repurchase i am just waiting for the 400 ml size of this one to come back in stock this is the 200 ml size i believe i want to say yes this is the 200 ml size so yes that's why i have two empties not that i used up two of them completely but yeah i mean it is what it is and then i also got another himalaya body lotion this is the nourishing body lotion again this one didn't come in the 100 gram size or the 100 ml size that's why i bought the 200 ml size but this one came in the 100 ml size so i was like okay let me buy it out just for like trial sake and this one is more of like a thicker lotion i want to say so this is i did use it up yes but um, if i had to repurchase it i would repurchase it in the winter not so much right now because it's more of a heavier lotion not really like a medium weight lotion what i'm looking for is a medium weight lotion so not something that's too light because i want it to moisturize but i don't want it to be too moisturizing because then it becomes like more thick and heavy and greasy so um yes this one will probably not be a repurchase anytime soon um so yeah that is that then um i think last but not the least i want to quickly okay no actually i was going to say last but not the least i have my last retinol body lotion but no i have another body lotion too this one i recently recently emptied up this is the parachute um soft touch silky and smooth body lotion this one is meant for all skin types this is another one of my favorites so the himalaya one this clear complexion um uh, brightening body lotion is like one of my favorites and this is my other favorite um very similar to this one it's a medium weight lotion um it can get a little messy because i feel like the consistency is quite runny when you like pour it out of the bottle so sometimes if i pour out too much it like starts dripping off my hands like i pour it like this right so then it starts dripping down from one side so that is one thing that i probably don't like about this but apart from that i love it so then what i do is i just take one or two squirts apply it on one section start massaging it then take two more squirts apply it on a different section so if i go like that then i feel like it will not be as messy and i will not have any like leaking all over like falling on the bed or falling on the floor like stuff like that so yes uh this is one that i've actually already repurchased um and i will be traveling with actually very soon as well this is the one that i chose um i was pretty confused on which body lotion to travel with and this is the one that ended up getting chosen because like i said the 400 ml variant in this size is not on like it's out of stock basically on nika so that's why i ended up going with this one and this is another favorite right now so you will see another empty of this coming very 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 soon so yeah loving this um also if you feel like i'm not going very much in detail like i'm talking a lot yes but if you feel like i'm not going in detail reviews on any of these it's because i have done a ranking um, like i filmed it already i'm not sure when it's going to go live maybe before this video or after this video but it's called my ranking um all the new body lotions which i've been trying out from worst to best and in that video um well shameless plug that video has not gone up already because these two are like my top favorites so uh um, yes in that video i'm doing more detailed reviews on each and every single product here i'm kind of telling you what i'm emptied up what i'm recently using like more like candid friendly chats not so much in depth in depth reviews so coming back to my retinol body lotion this is something that i use uh, a lot as well in the night time um and i have three tubes because i feel like i've not been using it too too much recently 
I feel like these are all July empties. I didn't use this as much in the month of August um, because then I was like testing out a bunch of different lotions. So sometimes I was not using a retinol body lotion at night. I was just using a regular body lotion at night. So that's why I don't have too many um, more empties of this. I could have definitely had way more, but I have three empty uh, retinol uh, body lotions from Chemist that Play, and then I have a bunch of more tubes as backups. So I don't, I don't think I need to repurchase this anytime soon. But once I go through the stash that I have, I will probably do that. Then let's move on next. Since we basically covered everything hair care, body care, I think before we move into skincare, let me just show you my last two body care products. Now, like I was doing a ranking body lotions uh, video, like I did it basically. I also did one for shower gels before the body lotion one and that one I know is already up on my channel. So uh, these were two of the products which were featured in that video and these are different variants of the plum body love and shower gels. Now I love the formula but I wanted to try out a different variants because I am not repurchasing Hawaiian Rumba anymore. So the only one that I do tend to buy is the cherry one. So I was like, you know what, maybe let's give Cherry a break. Let's try out some different variants. So I got Trippin Mimosas and I got Orchidio Knot. But these two variants don't compare and I don't like them as much. I mean, you can see it's an empties in, it's in an empties video. So I have used both of them up, but not to the point that I'm obsessed or in love with them. I just wanted to use them up basically and get them out of my collection because I my shower right now is overloaded you guys with so many different shower products specifically shower gels because of this ranking series like i did the part one video i'm also doing a part two video which i'm currently prepping so that is why i have way too many shower products and shower gel products in my actual shower so i wanted to go through some of them and this packaging because it's like a cone i feel like it takes up more space also in my shower so i wanted to get these two out as quickly as i could so that's why i've used both of them up one bottle typically lasts me a month so that's why i know why i have two empty bottles because it's not like i was using them just in july and august i think i started using these before that and now they're completely done so yes i love the plum shower gel formula but these two variants in specific are not my favorites and again if you want to know more in-depth reviews on the specific scent etc then go and check out the ranking shower gels video okay now let's move on to our um face care so for face care i have quite a few um uh, i was going to say shower gels but no i was talking about face wash so um I have two makeup removers like the Foxtail Daily Do It um, Hydrating Cleanser is my um, not my current go to makeup remover because right now I'm using the Plum Illuminance Cleansing Balm but the past two months I was using these two and that's why I have two empties is because I go through one bottle of this a month. Uh, this is your makeup remover come face wash hybrid so what you do is basically in the evening when you want to remove your makeup you get in the get into the shower just wet your face and take some product like i want to say two to three pumps should be enough if you're wearing basic makeup like no foundation concealer cream products none of that stuff just powder and eyeliner and maybe liquid lipstick and blush like those kind of things so you wet your face and then you take a couple of squirts in your hand and just start massaging it on your face and it automatically starts lathering up because it's like a face wash consistency so in contact with water it's going to start lathering up so you just start massaging it all over your face and it breaks down all of the makeup and then you just rinse it all off you don't have to go in with a second cleanser like you would if you're using a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm so that is my favorite part about these is that you don't need to go in with a second cleanser so um that's why i've been using and loving this and i will be traveling with this as well um like i said but currently i don't have too many backups of this like i only have one bottle as backup which i'm going to travel with so that's why i am using the plum cleansing balm a backup which i have in my collection right now as a makeup remover so in my next empties you're going to probably see that but this is one that i've been using and loving and i'm going to definitely keep repurchasing over and over and over again so yes that is the foxtail daily duet hydrating cleanser now for like morning cleansers again i have been using quite a few and there are a few different ones in my shower so um the two that i have used up is the dermaco salicinamide anti-acne face wash again it says anti-acne but i don't really think any face wash can really do much for your acne if i'm going to be very 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 honest so um yes i enjoyed using this and i used it up but i am not 100% sure if i'm going to repurchase it also it comes with like 80 ml of product so i feel like 
that's less than your typical standard cleanser which comes with like 100 ml or 150 ml so keep that in mind too um so yeah it was an okay decent product wouldn't repurchase it and then um the other cleanser which was also um used in my like it was in my shower and i was using it as a morning cleanser is um apologies for the interruption guys um i just had a parcel come in so i was talking about the for uh, Fosarex, wow Cosrx low pH good morning gel cleanser which is in my which was in my shower sorry and I was using this every single morning as my morning cleanser and I completely used it up now when I first got it I was quite impressed by this product to be completely honest uh, because I loved it got it had that tea tree um, like scent to it basically um, at least that's what it reminded me of um, is the body shop tea tree facial wash which I used to use back in the day so it smelled like that it was a very nice gel cleanser but not too stripping on the skin or anything but as I went through it I kept using it and I was like okay there is nothing revolutionary about it and this is like the most expensive um cleanser that i've probably spent my money on so considering that i don't think i'll be repurchasing it because it's not amazing enough to be repurchased for the in my personal opinion so if you have very dry skin and you feel like this works great for you and you cannot compare it to anything else that's out there in the market then sure it's worth it but i have so many affordable cleansers which are under 500 rupees some even under 300 rupees which are just as good if not better so then i'm like why am i spending like what 850 and i think on offer also i paid like 600 bucks for this 600 700 something like that so it was not worth that in my opinion personally so yes that, those are just my thoughts on this i feel like people on the internet say otherwise but for me personally it was just, it was not worth it um i have to be honest so um yes then moving on next okay we have a lot of moisturizer empties for some reason again another category which i've been working on in terms of like my ranking videos so that is why i have one two three four five six seven different moisturizers yes i think i have seven different moisturizers to talk about so very quickly i'm going to talk about the two which you know and love about already it's the dorin key ceramides and hyaluronic acid i've said this name so many times on camera i don't know why i have to read it but it's ceramides and hyaluronic acid skin barrier repair plus face cream this is my favorite holy grail moisturizer for all time and i did do a video uh, sharing with you five alternatives for this specific product because even though i use it and love it so many people in my comment section have told me that it's not worked for them for one reason or another some people People say it makes their face dark some people say it clogs their pores um i've heard various different things about this product in terms of like negative experiences so i get that which is why i made that video sharing alternatives with you guys and i will probably do a part two because i feel like i've discovered some more products which are similar to this so i definitely think that for me it's the best and it's the best um value as well considering the amount of quantity you get for the price and then when dot and key goes and buy one get one offers it's the best time to buy it they have now launched this in a 175 gram size also because this product is such a cult favorite and i feel like so many people repurchase it again and again and again so um they listened to consumer demands and came out with this in a bigger size so once i go through whatever backups i have in this specific size i'll definitely go for the bigger size but i get it if it doesn't work for you then i will of course not recommend this but i'll tell you other products which are kind of similar to it um for those people out there who cannot use it so i will continue to use it and love it and you will continue to see this in my empties every time i do one but um, yeah we we have two empties of this one and then um i also have an empty foxtail comfort zone rich moisture cream now this is something which is unfortunately discontinued they have come out with a newer moisturizer to replace this one in their line i don't know why they would do that firstly because this is such an amazing product so affordable this would also be a great alternative to be honest for this one but because it's discontinued i'm like how can i even feature it as an alternative because it's not even existing anymore this is a backup that i bought a long time back and, and it was lying in my collection in fact this was lying in my travel skincare bag like um because it's a slimmer tube i feel like it's easier to travel and i can use it as a great nighttime moisturizer so yes i've used it up i wish i not which i wish i could repurchase it but because i can't um it's that's just that um foxtail 
if possible please 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 bring this back it is so 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 amazing and i absolutely loved it so yeah then last but not the least talking about nighttime moisturizers we also have the la shield um what is this called intense hydrating cream 72 hour moisture lock probiotic moisturizer now this is one that i saw so many ads on um on youtube on tv like just everywhere so i was like okay let me try this out and i got it and i tried it out and i liked it but it was very like meh for me i would say it was not um uh, amazing i also feel like um i am not the biggest fan of like tub moisturizers to be honest i would always prefer like a tube packaging um to be very honest so if i am trying out or buying a a moisturizer in a tub uh, which i have to dip my fingers into every time it has to be really amazing for it to be worth it for me to dip my fingers into it every single time get product under my nails all of that stuff so unfortunately this was good it was not great it was moisturizing uh, for night time it was not super greasy or thick or anything it had fragrance so that's one con and then um, it was just it was just basic um, i would say uh, if they came out with this in bigger sizes then maybe it would be worth it because now so many moisturizers come in bigger sizes that um, if a product is just available in 50 grams and you have to keep repurchasing it then it's not it's not really a great uh, option economically environmentally like all that stuff so this was me for me uh then we have an empty of the plum uh, rice water and niacinamide clear moisture gel cream now this was my second one um i've shared the story a couple of times that i accidentally bought two so when it was new i used up one of it um which i had bought in and again i was It was an okay moisturizer. It was not my favorite. Um, the packaging I would say is a little heavy and bulky, and like it's got a lot of weight to it. So I would not travel with this ever. And also, um, the like the packaging in itself is quite like thick and uh, again not not a favorite. I feel like the actual moisturizer is like so less, and then the rest of it is just packaging. So uh, that was not my favorite part. But then again, like a tub that you have to constantly dip your finger into, and this was like. very thin i would say also so i whenever i like dipped my finger into it and tried to get product on i felt like it was just spilling everywhere so um yeah overall in general not one of my favorites but if you are looking for a nice gel moisturizer with niacinamide in it and if you love plum and you tend to buy a lot of stuff from plum then you can probably try this out it's not a bad product it's just that there are a zillion different moisturizers in the market so for me to pick and choose my favorites I cannot like every moisturizer is a good moisturizer it's hard to find the bad moisturizer but which are the best and then which ones are kind of okay so like this falls in the okay category for me personally so yes this was my second and my last one and I'm not going to be repurchasing this I know that for sure um then speaking about another okay meh moisturizer which I enjoyed not like I didn't um but I will not be repurchasing it is the Dorden Key 72 hour um hydrating gel moisturizer plus probiotics um again like you can see it's completely empty it was blue in color like the actual product is blue in color that's why the packaging also looks blue when you see pictures of it online but the actual glass jar is like completely transparent now this is another hydrating gel like moisturizer which is again great don't get me wrong but it's got a scent to it which is again not my favorite part and then the other thing is that it's just a basic hydrating gel moisturizer there is nothing special or unique about it in that way so for me personally it was not something um i absolutely loved i would also say a lot of times with dot and key products i feel like they feel more luxurious or unique is because of the scent so um and then also the cute packaging so i feel like that um people tend to assume or think that are better in general and that is why they have that appeal to always constantly go out and repurchase this is because they feel like it's better and don't get me wrong if you enjoy using a specific product i will never tell you to not buy it if you enjoy using it like skincare is also for fun um along with giving you effective results of course so if you enjoy using a product and you love using it then keep using it so i'm sure there are many people who love using this product too but um i did not feel like again it was something to write home about it was something absolutely amazing something worth repurchasing so for that reason i will not be repurchasing this one but 
the other Dorian Key moisturizer, which I personally really, really loved and I will possibly repurchase, is actually the Vitamin C one. So this is the Dorian Key Vitamin C Plus E Super Bright Moisturizer. Now this one also has like a scent to it and I feel like partially the scent is what makes me feel like it's got a vitamin C like citrusy smell. So um, it makes you feel like it's got a lot of vitamin C and it's very potent and it's like really, really, really good. So um, that might be one of the reasons why I really love it. But the other reason why I feel like it's got a high amount of vitamin C and it's actually potent is because I saw Shreya Jain actually mention this in her empties video and she was saying that how it will oxidize if you don't use it in time. And that only happens when you have, I think, L-ascorbic acid in a product. I'm not sure. Actually, I should have done the research. Does this have L-ascorbic acid? I'm not sure. But it does tend to oxidize. So I want to say that it's potent vitamin C. Uh, which is in here due to that reason again mine didn't oxidize i could use it up and it did not go bad and i did enjoy using it as well so because this one is a vitamin c moisturizer so it's got the active ingredient plus being a basic moisturizer so for that reason i feel like this one is more special and unique as compared to a lot of other moisturizers that i spoke about already so yes this one i will probably go ahead and repurchase so yeah love 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 it if you're looking for a good vitamin c moisturizer i would i would definitely recommend this one okay so what else do we have we have two bottles of retinol right here this is my foxtail vitality retinol again something i constantly go through and every time i feel like the number of bottles i have differs depending on how far along i am in a specific bottle so like for example i'm currently on one which i think i've been using for a while so it will probably run out in a couple of days um so yeah this is something i use every single night probably um i was breaking out i would say quite a bit in july and august so that's why probably i don't have as many empties i could have easily had one more bottle of empty if i was not breaking out because when i am breaking out i give retinol a break and i focus on like active ingredient like uh, basically anti-acne serums more um, i actually have a serum which i want to show you but i I'm not sure if I can, to be honest, because this product hasn't launched. I was sent it by the brand to um, basically try out and review. So I have that also in my empties, but uh, because the brand hasn't launched, I don't want to like spoil it. But whenever it does launch, I will talk about it in the empties video after that and then feature it and also reference this video that I had given you like a spoiler of it but yes um, so I have an anti-acne serum empty as well over here and then two bottles of retinol empties again this is something you guys keep seeing every single time I do a retin like every single time I do an empties video there are always a couple of bottles of retinol in there and always this specific retinol as well so um, yeah I think the last thing okay actually I was going to say it's the last thing but no it's not uh, before I show you my sunscreen empties I want to show you my vitamin C serum empty this is the minimalist vitamin C serum again if I was not using the dot and key um, vitamin C moisturizer or if I was not using any other vitamin C moisturizer I was using this vitamin C serum with like a nice and white moisturizer with the basic moisturizer event so um, this is one that I also had repurchased a couple of months ago and I wanted to retry this product because i had tried it out maybe a year or two or ago i want to say i really loved it this is the 10 percent vitamin c serum from minimalist and i wanted to repurchase and retry it out and this one you guys is an amazing beautiful vitamin c serum if you want to brighten your skin and look like just amazing and glowing it doesn't work on hyperpigmentation but if you have dull skin that this will help with that for sure to make you look like a shining bulb uh, or like a disco ball um, and that is why i really like this one because um, i've noticed um it, it makes me sound very old not that i am but um a lot of times if you're like just tired with like work or you, you're not well rested your skin can definitely look dull and um if you are going through a certain phase in your life when that is happening to you a product like this would actually help in making you look not dull not tired and i really really enjoyed and loved using this and i will probably definitely repurchase it after i go through like some of the other skincare that i have currently in my collection so that's that 
and then I also have the chemist that play underarm roll on um, and this is the fragrance free version so when I repurchased like multiple multiple bottles of this I bought some of the fragrance free and I bought some of the peach one so this is one of the fragrance free ones which I used recently used up and um, I used to love it a lot more than I do right now um, I will say that because I have noticed that sometimes if I use it consistently over a couple of days like in a row uh, maybe after a week or two i get some weird like body odor issues touch wood touch wood touch wood touch wood it's not happened recently like i'm currently using the peach one uh, in the chemistry play roll-ons and i've been using it consistently for i want to say two to three weeks and i didn't notice any body odor issues so hopefully like something was going off with my body chemistry i don't know and it has resolved itself so now i'm not having that issue anymore but yes it did happen briefly there for a period of time so wanted to note that too and i think i've spoken about it as well so it's not like you guys are not aware about it um then we have i think yes um okay again i forgot to show you one product um in my serums i also had one empty of the plum 5 percent ni uh, niacinamide face serum now this is the serum i've been currently using uh, in my morning skincare routine and i am obsessed with it i have filmed a shop my stash skincare edition video uh, which i call my mix and match video okay so in that video i have featured this serum and this sunscreen this is the dermaco one percent hyaluronic acid sunscreen gel and this um, is my serum and sunscreen combo and what i do is i switch up the moisturizer every single time so there are four different moisturizers the vitamin c one is one of those then um, i think this was also featured in there um, and like i curated a routine basically with them so i was basically using the serum as my holy grail and i still am using i have one bottle currently in my collection which is halfway gone like in my current stash so i used up one entire bottle now i'm in my second one and then i have i think two more backups as well um and then this sunscreen i want to speak about um so i have two empties of it and then i have one empty of the C cinnamide radiance um, aqua gel sunscreen so the reason i want to specifically speak about this and i have continued using this even after the comment i got on my last video uh, so in my last empties video where i featured some empties um, of the dermaco sunscreen i was told that it's got an ingredient called what is it benzo benzo fofine something something i i don't know how it's pronounced and uh, yeah it's benzophenone i think it's benzophenone uh, i might be completely saying it wrong but on my last empties video i got a comment from someone saying that that specific ingredient is carcinogenic so i went and did my own research and when i say my own research i mean i did a google search and i got scared just like that other person who was talking about it about this ingredient being carcinogen carcinogenic and then i went on to like read the ingredient list of this one the aquologica detan sunscreen the like all my sunscreens basically which i um, have used and which are my favorites and i think half of them or more than half of them have this specific ingredient and then i was like oh my god i have to stop using all these sunscreens and i went crazy about it like for a day or two and then i was like you know what um, i've heard sometimes that like there are so many ingredients out there which um, have all gone through a phase like parabens were once um, you know considered to be like unsafe and stuff and then so many different ingredients have gone through that phase where um, they are spoken about as harmful ingredients or carcinogenic or whatever so then i texted the dermatologist who i follow uh, it's uh, her channel is called, like her instagram is doc Doctor dot Mansi dot Skin, I believe. Um, Mansi Shilodkar. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, she is a very popular, um, and she's got tons and tons and tons of followers. So I'm sure all of you know her. Um, she, I I actually texted her uh, because I've been following her for a long time, and I really trust her um, in terms of like knowledge, like scientific actual knowledge about skincare and skincare ingredients. So I texted her on Instagram, and I asked her that you know what I got a comment from a follower and they were saying that this ingredient is harmful so what are your thoughts on it and she was like no uh, there are a lot of studies done but those studies i believe she said uh, are not accurate because the amount of the ingredient which is used um, to do the tests are not actually how much we put on our skin it's way 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 more than that and the amount of like benzene benzo 
for phenone or whatever the ingredient is called um, in these products and sunscreens are not as high and even if you're using and in like a sunscreen with this ingredient for the rest of your life the amount of um, that that's going to be exposed to your skin topically um, is not going to be um, you know like risky in any way and uh, i know i might get some flack for saying this um, and even my mom yells at me for this so even if you guys yell at me i understand um, your point but um, what i'm gonna say to anything that is labeled as carcinogenic is i feel like nowadays everything um, has some sort of negative side effects like using your phone has negative side effects eating like fatty foods has negative side effects so many things that we do in our normal day-to-day -day lives can um, you know have negative side effects on our health and can cause cancer and i have lost family members to cancer so i don't want to come across as um you know like vain i want to say but um, i get it like losing just this year family members to cancer and then even the past couple of years i have lost multiple family members to cancer like people very close to me in my personal life so i get it but we we don't know i mean a sunscreen causing cancer has a way less likelihood to actually happen versus like eating fatty foods or um using our phones as much as we do i think those things are way more harmful for our health because that is stuff you're actually ingesting like i eat so much pizza um and i get told by my friends all the time that if you die it's probably gonna be because of like diabetes or cholesterol or like those kind of health issues versus using a sunscreen with a specific ingredient so uh stuff that we put in our bodies have way more negative health implica implications than something that you put topically so that's what i basically got out of that conversation with dr mansi and um yeah again that's just my personal stance on it if you don't want to use a sunscreen don't use it if you don't want to use a sunscreen with benzo phenone whatever uh don't use it uh i actually thought of curating a list of my favorite sunscreens with that don't have that ingredient because if some of you don't want to use it that is completely fine i understand whatever you're putting on your skin you should feel comfortable with putting that on your skin i feel comfortable using this which is why i'm going to continue to use it so i just wanted to say that because this is something which will be regu regularly featured on my channel on the future sorry in the future as well because i feel comfortable using it so for anyone out there who doesn't feel comfortable don't buy it don't use it that is completely fine you guys and then the cerecinamide one i just want to quickly mention before i wrap up this video because it has vitamin c and niacinamide in there as well and now it comes in the same packaging like this one like the 80 gram size so i will definitely go ahead and repurchase um the cerecinamide one in this size versus um like the 50 gram size uh but yes i think i have a few more bottles of this uh still remaining so i'm going to use that up as well and then repurchase all of them eventually in the tubes so um yes uh this video is definitely much longer than i wanted it to be it's like 40 minutes long oh my god oh my god okay so um yes those are all the empties that i had to share with you today um i just want to give you a quick tally before we go um so i have two empty shampoo bottles I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight body lotions. Um, then I have two makeup removers. I have two retinols. I have two face washes. I have two serums. Two shower gels. No, actually, not eight. I have nine body lotions. Um, sorry I got the number wrong again because I forgot to mention the parachute one um, yeah like I was saying I have two shower gels um, these two then I have one underarm roll on three sunscreens and then one two three four five six seven moisturizers so that's my total um, in each specific category for this video and I'm gonna list and link all the products that I uh, mentioned today in this video down below for you guys in case you want to buy anything in case you don't want to buy anything don't buy it but if you want to buy anything I'll have links down below for you guys and um, I'm also gonna have I think the total tally um, for every specific category um, 
the total as of the past eight months um, down below as well because I don't have my laptop right here to show you like my earlier total and then add this up and then show you the total like that so that is going to be down below in the description box so check that out as well but yes that is it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys and until next time bye bye bye